Hello and welcome to my video all about how to hand sew the herringbone catch stitch. This stitch is great for hemming thick or heavy fabrics in particular, such as wool, as well as hemming on lined garments. Although this stitch is pretty sturdy, it has a little bit of give in it, which means it allows stretch, so it's also great for knit or stretch fabrics. Basically, the herringbone stitch is designed to keep layers of fabric flat against one another. And that's why it's perfect for heavy fabrics, because then it helps flatten the fabric fibres. OK, so let's get started. The first thing I've done is press a double fold hem. And that's what I'm going to be sewing today. I'm right handed and I find it easier to sew the herringbone stitch, moving from left to right. So if you're left handed, you'll probably want to move in the opposite direction. I've cut a length of relatively thick crochet thread, but of course you'll probably be using a regular hand sewing thread in a colour that matches the fabric. As a guide, I like to cut the piece of thread at least four or five times the length of the edge that I want to sew. At one end I do a regular knot, and the other end I feed through a hand sewing needle. The first thing I'm going to do is secure the thread to the hem. To do this I bring my needle from inside the hem up through the fold. I then do a small stitch at the top of the hem, pull the thread until there's just a small loop, take the needle through the loop and tighten. This has secured the start of the thread. During this stitching, my needle is always going to go through the fabric from right to left, which is the opposite way that I'm travelling in. I then use my needle to pick up a very small amount of the main body of fabric, very close to where I just secured the thread. So I take my needle from right to left, under just a few fibres of the fabric. The reason you want this stitch to be as small as possible is because these stitches are going to be visible from the front of your project. You then need to move between a quarter of an inch and half an inch along the hem. And then you do another stitch from right to left, this time on the hem. The size of this stitch on the hem doesn't really matter as much because this stitch is not going to be visible from the outside of your project. And then we repeat those steps again. So we move the same distance again along the hem. And then we pick up a very small amount of the main body of fabric, as close to the hem as possible. And then we do a stitch on the hem, always moving the needle from right to left to get that herringbone design. And you simply repeat those steps all along the hem. I've started off with relatively small stitches and then I'm switching to relatively large stitches just to show you the variation that's possible. How tall your stitches are as well as how wide apart you spread them is completely up to you. The closer the stitches are together, the stronger the stitching will be. Usually the heavier or thicker the fabric you're stitching the further apart the stitches will be and also the taller the stitches will be. Whereas for a finer fabric, you're more likely to put the stitches closer together and also make them shallower. When you want to finish stitching, make sure you finish with a stitch on the main body of fabric. You then want to do a small stitch in the top of the hem. Then pull the thread until there's just a small loop remaining. Take the needle through the loop and tighten. Finally, take the needle down into the hem and out of the fabric on the hem side. Then cut off the excess thread. And that's it, that's the herringbone catch stitch. As you can see on the inside, this stitch is quite visible and prominent. However, I like the zigzag design and I find it quite decorative. 
The only slight problem with this is that it does tend to catch on things. And that's why it's usually used on lined garments. And if we look on the front of the fabric, you can see that the stitches are barely visible. If I'd have used a thread that matched the colour of the fabric, these stitches would be almost invisible. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.